Okay, let's see if I can do this quickly with the air conditioner turned off. <laughs> um, it's been a while. Um, I'm kind of working on some new photos, trying to get old buildings. It'd be fun to try to do a showing of just that one time. <laughs> the old buildings are just fascinate me. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. The past few years I've been, uh, I would get really bad back panic attacks t when I drive to the next town. I'm finally comfortable uh, riding with somebody, but uh, doing it myself scares me. Um, I've driven out of well now it's three now it's three times I've driven out of town. Um, I took somebody with me that has a tendency to talk a lot uh, when I went to the airport to pick up somebody. Uh, he saved my ass because I would have probably chickened out. <laughs> Told him to take the Greyhound here. But everything worked out. Um, I had one of my bad hallucinations last week. Um, the art studio was driving me home, and damn, I hate it when this happens. But I saw a dead body on the side of the road. Uh, I know it was a hallucination, but it's getting a little harder to take. Uh, Well, all I can do is hope it doesn't happen again. Um, let's see. Um, oh, you finally got me a basically a mini spotlight. I hope I can start doing videos in the evening because uh, it's too dark for this uh, webcam to work. This little thing here. <laughs> the light's about the size of my thumb. The thing is, it's an LED. I had to push, put two layers of uh, tissue on it. Because when you point it at your face, you're going to have spots. <laughs> In fact, now I'm getting a little few spots. Try to keep my eye off of it. But it's going to be way cool when I try some uh, light paintings after dark. And I just need it off, off camera flash. Um, this was cheaper than buying the wireless remotes. So. Now that'll be fun. Uh, tried to find you at the studio, the regular guy. He's having some knee problems. And I guess the head person for this area had to come in and fill in for, it, for him. I don't know if she was doubting me, but she asked me, did you take these pictures? <laughs> they were big. Uh, uh, Let's see, 16 by 20, and a couple in a different different size. I uh, really like them, but uh, I just can't see them selling. Unless I can really fascinate somebody with some large prints. So I sent off for some smaller prints. Um, Tried a different luster paper this time, and I like the paper, but the old house I photographed was way too dark. What's funny is the pictures I took for my own uses came out just fine. But I'm going to go back to metallic prints. Uh, they just have a 
they just look better. That's all I can say. Um, I'll I'll stick a slide of the pictures I've got going, including the old house, at the end of the video. So. Hope this video finds you doing well, and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, I hope my voice is coming through here. Uh, these are some of the uh, pictures I sent off for. This is an older one of a moth. And if you've been following me, I showed you how to make this picture. Uh, I don't know, it just looks cool to me and I had a few other people like it. And this is the heron from a few months ago up at the lake, um, very tame. Uh, same lake, this is a dragonfly. Uh, the old adobe church. Uh, yeah, I think I uh, grayscaled it and put a lay colored overlay layer on it. Uh, this is uh, infrared photography for the same church. One of these days I'll get it right. <laughs> Very hard for me to photograph it if there's any wind. The trees and leaves blow around. Now this one I liked. Uh, I did a white vignette around it. Um, I hope to put this in a frame soon. Now this is the old house that I uh, photographed. Yeah, uh, the building's still pretty dark. Um, not a great black and white. A little closer, a different angle. Now this is the backside. I, the clouds and the color of the wood keep outside. <laughs> I love this picture. It's still a little dark in the wood. Here I grayscaled it. Did some dodging and burning. Brought the wood out a little more. Yeah, this is the north side of the building. Nothing too spectacular. And this is the old Judge Hagley, I think. His old house. Early settler. Um, I had to take out a, a pipe that was sticking out of the ground. Uh, I probably should have taken out the whole thing, uh, but I can still go back and do it. Oh, by the way, she said, if I know anybody who wants to buy that house, <laughs> send her my, this, her information. <laughs> uh, everything's for sale where I live economy not too great. And that's the last of it. Um, I hope I can get more old houses. There's still a few around town. Uh, talk to you later.